Let's take a look at the linear molecular geometry or molecular shape. So when we're talking about a linear molecular geometry, we're talking about a steric number of two. That means there's two things attached to our central atom here. And then we don't have any lone pairs on the central atom here. So that's our linear molecular geometry. And the bond angle here, that's 180 degrees. A good example of this is carbon dioxide. So we have our central carbon atom, we have an oxygen atom here double bonded, and an oxygen atom here double bonded, but no lone pairs. And with molecular geometry, we don't really worry whether it's a double or a single bond. So because we have these two oxygen atoms bonded to that central carbon, there aren't any lone pairs on the carbon, this is a linear molecular geometry. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that would be our central carbon atom. We add the one oxygen, and then we add the other, and they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. So that gives us the bond angle of 180 degrees, and it's a linear molecular geometry. Do note if we only had one other atom, it would also be linear. You have two points on a line, and that's going to be linear as well. Let's go back. So two atoms, no lone pairs, linear. We could also use the AXE notation. A would be the central atom, X, those are the atoms bonded. So we have A, x2 and ax2 if you look that up that's going to be linear this is dr b with the linear molecular geometry thanks for watching